You're not always going to have a compass. There are ways to find general direction, north, south, east, and west. This is one such method. Basically, it's kind of like a sundial. Grab a stick, stick it in the ground. Wherever it makes a shadow, put your first stick at the tip of that shadow. Then we'll come back later over time to place the second stick. From our original stake, you'll see the shadow has moved over about a 30 minute period of time. I'm gonna mark the tip of that second shadow where it ends. Make sure you put your left foot on that stake, your right foot on this stake, and if you do that, you're then facing directly north. And it's easy to accomplish in a field environment because really all you need is a couple of sticks. Hola, ¿cómo están? Buenas, buenas. ¿Cómo han arrancado este comienzo de mes de septiembre? Miren lo que traje. Calancho, eh. Mandala súper, súper colorido para este mes. Y va muy bien con todos los espirales, pero para mí va súper con el espiral arcoiris. Miren qué bien queda. Bueno, les mando un beso, que tengan un excelente fin de semana. This viral video shows ancient grape preservation technique used in Afghanistan. The grapes can be preserved for months, even years, by using an age-old technique of storing them in clay pots. The clip shows a street fruit seller with a cart full of clay pots. At first glance, someone who is not aware of the concept would not believe that the man is selling grapes. But upon further inspection, you will find out that the sealed clay pots are actually holding grapes inside them. In Afghanistan, the grapes are stored for up to six months, kept fresh in airtight mud straw containers. Afghans developed this method of food preservation, which uses mud straw containers and is known as kangina. From a food science perspective, this would be considered passive controlled atmosphere storage. Grapes and other fruits are composed of living cells which use oxygen and produce carbon dioxide the protected need to be protected from the unprotected by forcing the unprotected to use the protection that didn't protect the protected in the first place.
This is Dung Cam, a camera based on a pile of elephant poo. It even smells the part. Its zoom lens can capture the elephants ev- That's not all. It can release a team of spy dung balls to litter the savannah with yet more cameras. One dung ball is radio controlled and can travel without any visible moving parts. With the action covered from every angle, it's time to see what this elephant family gets up to. The babies must learn the rules of behaviour at an early age. Wrestling older siblings is a favourite pastime. They learn their own strength and, crucially, how to play nicely with each other. We loved our stump hot tub so much that we made another out of the trunk. Sometimes we use it as a cold plunge. One person gets in the hot, the other gets in the cold, and then we switch. It's great for muscle soreness and really helps clear out those pores and tighten up the skin. Though as a manly man, I wouldn't know anything about that. Anyway, contrast hydrotherapy but in a carved out spruce tree in the middle of the woods. When an egg gets stuck to the pan, don't scrape it. All you have to do is tap it. I'm gonna show you. With one hand, you're gonna grab the base of the handle, and then with the other hand, you're gonna tap it. See how it loosens up? Hi guys, so La Roche Posay. Well, the likes of that. You, know, I got, you, you got to put weight on maybe it and go down. Yeah. So, buddy, once you put the weight on, they do go down, eh? Oh, yes. Well, I've made dozens of them. What's all this markings on? That's just. There's a natural mystic flowing through the air If you listen carefully now you will hear This could be the first trumpet Might as well be the last Many more will have to suffer
Look, two carp are exchanging electric eels in their stomachs, as if some mysterious force is guiding them. Even experts are left astonished by such behavior. Speaking of which, in South America, there's a mysterious tribe where their fish are naturally controlled by electric eels. Once they reach adulthood, a remarkable exchange takes place. During this process, the carp miraculously burrow into the soil, open their mouths wide, and spit out a two-meter electric eel into the mouth of another carp. This kind of behavior is truly bewildering. Back in 2014, American experts discovered that electric eels have the ability to control other fish through electric discharges. Carp in front of electric eels respond like taxis, coming when called and going straight into the eels' mouths, making it both safe and convenient. The eels Which animal can't blink? Researchers at the Kagawa University in Japan have created a robotic mechanical mouth that mimic the sounds of human speech. The bot uses a learning algorithm to compare the voices of hearing impaired and non-hearing impaired people, then it creates a personalized visualization of sounds to help the student pronounce sounds correctly. So why are they teaching the globe model? Well, you see, the, the globe is a container, and it's a container of all the known land. And, you see, have you heard of...
So, in early Canaan, we had the Sumerians, and later Canaan, we had the Phoenicians. And the Phoenicians spoke Hebrew. Language is sound. And we get that term, phonics, phonetics, and telephone, from the Phoenicians. Phonetically, these two phrases are the same. And we know that sound is frequency. And the word was God. So if you ignore the phonics, and separate these two by definition, then you are deaf Phoenician. We've got what people are calling dreadlocks, but that's not dreadlocks, that's sacred locks. Dread is a British word that means fear. Okay? So, we're all over Africa, all the pharaohs wore their hair locked. That's why they wore the cloth when they went public to keep it clean. All pharaohs were priests. All priests in all African cultures locked their hair. It was a My name's Daniel. It's been four days since the missus went up north to see her family. Hello? Ever since she left, strange things have been happening around the house. Hello? Since she left, whenever I throw my clothes on the floor, I walk away and come back and they're still there. I don't know what's going on. I'd been in this strange room once before and I'd seen this basket full of clothes. So I put them in there, thinking they might just disappear, but nothing happened. I thought I'd leave it a day. Maybe it just needs time. Maybe it needs time to work. Well, I came back and they were still there, so I put some more in. I thought, Hello? maybe if I filled it up to the top, it would work then. I went round, found all the clothes I'd left around the house that were still there, and I put them all in. I couldn't understand it. I'd seen it full before, and the next day it was empty. I kicked it. I kicked it to try and get it going, but nothing happened. I just couldn't understand it. Whoa. I noticed these two strange machines opposite the basket. I thought maybe they had something to do with it, so I put it close to it to see if anything happened. Nothing. Maybe, just maybe the basket goes in there. Maybe that's it. But it didn't fit. It fit. I was out of my ideas. God.
squeeze these and just pulse them like this and align that with your heartbeat and your breath. What you got right here is piezoelectricity. It's a pressure activated current. Our bone composition, the mineral composition in the bone is the same mineral composition as a clear quartz crystal. So when now it's wrapped in the conductive metal of copper, it's stimulating that pulse and regenerating your vibrational resonance field. Resonance is movement. So your vibrational movement field, which is what exists all around us and that's what creates our reality. Electricity is intelligent. See how it's using its current to move the bulb so it can close the circuit. You're witnessing the behavior of a living force of nature. I do not smoke unless I smoke. I do not drink unless I drink, and I do not make bad decisions unless I make bad decisions. This is the Jolly Roger behind me, which is the standard flag of pirates. The design changed from time to time, but it was always invariably black, so everyone knew it was pirates. They used to sail under false colors, meaning a flag of another country, until they got close enough to their target when they would run up their Johnny Rogers, Roger, and demand surrender. 60 years ago, I took back a small town in East Bourne. Paul, you're Christian and against tattoos, so you got this temporary tattoo printer. Hey neighbor! Hey! What's good? Oh, thank you! You should wash mine, man! <laughs> 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 